All right, so we got the carpet and the pad ripped up. Next step is to clean the pad up and then rip out a bunch of stain. got a nice new clean slate. All right, I'm going to make the risers and the treads myself. For the risers, I'm actually gonna be using half inch plywood. The reason I chose to use plywood on these front risers is you can't see the edges anywhere. Uh, the tread is going to come over and overlap this and you can't see it on the end. They're just gonna be painted white. So this is the perfect material, usually a pine or oak or if you're doing something like that. But our treads are gonna be stained and these are gonna be painted. To attach them to the front of the risers, I cut them a little short height wise and I'm bringing them up flush with the top. The tread will sit right here and overlap this. And then I tack it in place. So each stair is going to have LED strip lights on the bottom of the overhang. And what we need to do is we need to create a dado or a slot. I'm gonna use my dado stack on the table saw. That's the width of the tape. So the LED tape is about a third of an inch. So that's what I'm gonna aim my dado stack for and cut a slot, a dado, in each stair tread. All right, I just did a test cut on this piece of poplar with my dado. So here are my LED strip lights. And there they go. That's how it's going to sit. So probably with, I don't know, hot glue or CA glue, um, they'll be embedded into the stair tread just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do it on the actual pieces. All right, for this project, this guy came up with the LED idea. So I said, well, you gotta help me with it. This is my friend, John Mark. He's gonna talk a little bit about the system for the LEDs 
um, that we got going on here. Yeah. So the first thing that we did was find a really great off the shelf package. Um, this has all the components that you need. It has the power supply in it, has a little dimmer to control the intensity of it, and then also has the correct number of footage of LED tape that we need for all the steps. Yeah, which was 60 feet, I think. Yeah, right around that, because um, each step has three feet on it, and we want to make sure that it was fully lit. So the tape comes in rolls like this. Um, you saw us putting it on earlier, and it can be cut to whatever length we want, so that was really important for this project. The other element is that since we had to put the controller downstairs, um, we use thermostat wire. So this is a two conductor thermostat wire, 18 gauge. And that's what's recommended for um, this load of LEDs. Yeah, low voltage. Yeah, it's all low yeah. voltage stuff. Um, 12 volt, you can't really hurt yourself too much with it. But um, we want to make sure everything was you know, secure and safe. So if anybody else was digging around, they, they wouldn't get hurt in that. Yep. So the one problem that we ran into though was the original design we had set up to have a light photo sensor in the air duct of the floor this little light sensor we installed inside uh, the air duct but unfortunately there wasn't enough light down there to trip this when it was daytime and so that just didn't work at all yep. so we ended up rewiring went with a different approach andy found this really great product it's from ge and it is a remote switch light sensor yep and so all wireless no wires um, it's battery operated so what I did is I put it in the window facing the uh, east so where the Sun rises so it'll get the most light the, the quickest in the morning and I think that's important because if I put it on the other side of the house the lights would be on until yeah, be on 11 o'clock in the morning all off-the-shelf parts so it's real easy to do um, if you have to do some electrical work, consult with some people on that. We're not electricians. Um, no. In our state, we're allowed to do this work on our own houses, so um, we've done stuff in the past. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we did talk to some electricians on how to do everything. Yes. But this off-the-shelf stuff, though, is really great because it's all plug-and-play. Yep. So it's great that we have products out there like this. Um, they will be down in the description. You can find access to them. Uh, everything I bought was off Amazon. So yeah. um, be sure to check those out if you're interested. All right, we got everything cut down to the final dimensions. We've got the dado in the back. I've got the dado right here where the wires are going to come up through. Then last couple things to do to get these ready, put a round over on the edge on both sides, top and bottom, and then do a final sanding with the orbital sander, spray poly, and these things will be good to go. Man, don't those LEDs look so good? That's awesome. A big shout out to John Mark for helping me design and spe really spearhead the installation of these LEDs. It really changed the entire end product. And we came to the conclusion that we did not need to stain them. So these stair treads are solid ash, hardwood, and with poly on them, you can see how good they look. One thing that I would do differently is I had a little bit of an issue matching up the seams. I would put the treads in first and then put the risers. And what that would do is there would still be a seam there, but it would be a lot less visible. 
So what I did is I got it as close as I possibly could. Then I went back with some caulking that matches the paint and it turned out really good. So I think that wraps up this project. Thank you so much to you for watching. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And if this inspired you to do anything or a project on your own, or you do something differently, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I'll see you next time I'm building something in my shop.